as the leaves put in and all the 270 all over the background and what I'm doing now folks let me turn it around so that you can see I'm starting the next phase of the background using all colors we've used before with the exception of one that's the gray 273 there's the 182 there's the 270 I'm putting them in the order that I've actually put them on the paper and I've always added the 174 which is neutral at the moment I'm not adding the other green that I use which is 167 in there oh, let's just see how this works out blend it with your finger what we're going to end up with is a grey-ish green-ish base colour like and again using the colour shaper push it right up into the edges because this is going to be a foundation colour now for the strong tones that we're going to be putting in what we want to do is we want to make it with a strong tone but we don't want to make it too dark otherwise we won't see these leaves the other option we've got is to put some more leaves in which I think I won't put them in as precise as that but we're going to we're going to indicate them which will be fun so let me show you how this works grey first of all so we've got grey 270 base grey as the first colour that goes in therefore we're keeping pace and tone with the rest of the picture nothing foreign now when you come in here I've already put some uh, stalks in here from the leaves but we can't really think too much about that now you certainly can't go around them so that's going to have to be put in afterwards if they're covered up doesn't matter I'll make them up now I'm going to do a little bit here this is the most difficult bit because you can see we're going to go around all of the leaves the other option I would have had would be to make the leaves nice and strong in the line drawing and then rub them out once we finish the background um, I don't really fancy that because it's all going to, it's going to be compressing the paper now let me just finish this off and then I'll explain to you the thought pattern behind this now I've left room here for the other colours to go in and the other colour, the next colour I'm going to be putting in is the 170 which is the main colour in here and that can go in sometimes where the, the grey is put in and sometimes where we just have the base colour 270 That's a long job, especially when you're doing something like this with a bit of detail in it. But I'm hoping at the end of the day, this will look great. Now, well, that's, you see that the first colour, the grey, was the, the most difficult. Subsequent colours, like these, the ochre and the green, are easier because we're just adding these colours in as tones. We don't have to be use quite so much of them for one thing and it's quicker now that's more or less as you saw it the only addition to that was the 174 and I didn't put much of that in but I'm going to put a lot more of it in as we work towards our second or third application of colour if you consider the base colour first that doesn't look anything at all but it's going to look like that in a minute so rub with your finger where you can it's always best to use your finger where you can but obviously I'm not going to get in there so what I'll do here is I'll turn it round and I'll get as close as I can with my finger 
and then we'll have to rely then on the colour shaper and that will rub the rest of the area in. I'll do a little bit and then I'll break off. You can see how easy it is if you've got one of these. Let's go around here. It doesn't really matter if you don't do touch the, the leaf because that's just going to work its way into the background. Got it? No, I've got to do those now. Now, what I'll be doing next is this bit, which is, uh, let me just re show you once again, just a little bit more as to the colour sequence I'm using. 273 with grey. One seventy light lightish green one eight two ochre and one seven four a spot of that is all you need and then rub it in. And again, up close to the animal, use your colour shaper. OK, well you can leave me to finish that off. But you see already it's starting to roll rolling. We can see that the background. And we're going to then develop now a stronger colour here.